Alright, so as promised, let us do a very quick review of indefinite integrals and antiderivatives. Now, for those of you who think you already understand these, tell me, are these the same thing? Are indefinite integrals the same thing as antiderivatives? Well, there is a subtle difference. And let us review what this subtle difference is. So, what is integration? What does it mean to integrate a function? You probably remember that integration is vaguely the opposite of differentiation. And that when you are integrating, really you are just doing differentiation, but in reverse. That is somewhat true, but of course not very precise. And that's where the confusion will arise. So now, precisely, what does it mean to take the indefinite integral of a function? In what sense is it the opposite of differentiation? And what does it have to do with the notion of antiderivative? What's an antiderivative? Well, roughly speaking, the words antiderivative and derivative refer to the input and output of the process of differentiation. Suppose when you differentiate a function big F, say x cubed here, you get a function little f, which in this case is 3x squared. Then as you know, we call this little f, we call this 3x squared, the derivative of this big F. For example, here we say that 3x squared is the derivative of x cubed. Alright, but then what do we call big F? If you only have the result of differentiation and you want to express to someone that you want to find this original function, then how would you say that? It would be quite long to say a function whose derivative with respect to x is equal to 3x squared, isn't it? So instead of saying find a function whose derivative is 3x squared, we'll say find an antiderivative of 3x squared. Notice that we say n instead of the antiderivative. Why is that? Well, because, as you might have already guessed, there are more than just one function whose derivative is 3x squared. Sure, you know that the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, but it can't claim the title the antiderivative of 3x squared because x cubed plus 2, x cubed plus 1.1, and more generally, x cubed plus any constant all differentiate to 3x squared. Thus, all of them deserve to be called antiderivatives of 3x squared. This now clarifies for us what indefinite integration gives us. When we differentiate a function, what we get is its derivative. Going in the other direction, when we integrate a function, what we get are all of its antiderivatives. Here, note the emphasis on the word all. Right, We don't just get a single antiderivative, we get all of them, infinitely many of them. Thus, while the result of differentiation is a single function, the result of the operation of taking indefinite integral is a family of functions, each differing by a constant. A more intuitive explanation of this constant will be covered in the next video where we discuss the example of position versus velocity. And you will also get better feel for this when we do more computations and examples. I'll link all of those videos in the description. But for now, before we end this video, just for fun, let's check your understanding. What is wrong with this meme? So suppose if you differentiate Batman with respect to the bad stuff, you get Bruce Wayne. Is it true that if you integrate Bruce Wayne with respect to whatever this bad stuff means, you get back Batman? Nah, you wouldn't get just one person. So this meme is a much better example. See if you can understand why it's the end, and I'll see you in the next video.